channel is Brittany. If you're new to my channel, hi. If you're not new, welcome back. So, last week, yeah, last week, I went to the Petra. <laughs> Do you win? Sorry. Oh. As I was saying, last week I went to the New Orleans All Time Low concert. Um, it was the last show on the whole tour and it was amazing. I had a blast. I got early entry. I was right at the barricade. I had one girl in front of me, so I was super close. Um, I was on Jack and Alex, well, Jack's side, like on the side. I kind of wish I would have been on the right side because I'm a Zach girl, but you know, whatever. I was still like, really really pretty much almost as close as you can get besides one girl in front of me and it was amazing it was so much fun and i thought i would just make a little quick video about it because i'm still excited about it and yeah when you go early entry there's like early entry and there's sound check it's sound check early entry and then general admission so i went early entry because it's only an extra 25 dollars a ticket and we get a little early entry pass and all of them put their name on it as you can see Alex is kind of fading and then you get your early entry armband but yeah so uh, it was amazing the boys did wonderful a lot of energy a lot of dancing a lot of jumping yeah but the biggest thing was actually not the well yeah the biggest thing was I got to meet Alex after the show um after the show, obviously, you know, most people left. Well, the tour bus was parked directly in front of the venue. Um, and I wanna say after the show, maybe like 20 to 30 people hung around. And while we were waiting to see if any of the boys would come out, Dan came out. We went over and we talked to Dan. I didn't get a picture with him, which I kind of really wish I would have, but you know, oh well. He came out, I talked to him. I didn't really talk to him, it, I was just like, hey you have a beautiful voice but you know and then their other opener came out i got a picture with her which i'll put right here which it was blurring kind of upset about that but she was super sweet and we also met her drummer uh because they were in the merch line but yeah they were super sweet super nice dan was super sweet he actually stood out for like almost literally the whole time just like walking around the building square just talking to people talking to fans talking to the crew members you know things like that but yeah he was super sweet not long after we were sitting out there alex came out but he like immediately went to the tour bus and i'll like have a video of that and but he was like hey i'll come back out which honestly none of us thought he really would but you know fingers crossed about maybe around 10 30 11 probably like 11 11 30. He did come back out of the tour bus. Um, I wanna say the concert ended around 10. So we stood out there for a good hour, two hours, just like hanging out, talking, you know, the fans and everything before he came out. He comes out and of course, you know, everyone's like, oh, yay, excited. So he comes out and he like, no one obviously was like bombarded him. We kind of just stood there and let him come up and he literally made sure that he talked to every single person. Like he made sure to get a picture and talk to every single person out there waiting. I think I was like maybe the fifth or sixth person to take a picture with him. Um, and so yeah, I went to him and I took a picture. He was sick, so he had a mask on. Speaking of, he was sick. Because he had a cold during the concert, he was drinking tea. And after the show ended, a girl got his cup that he was drinking the tea out of. And she actually, there was three cups, they were stacked. And she took a picture of it. Well, she gave me and my friends each her own cup. So, and this was one he was actually drinking out of. So I actually have Alex's drinking cup with his tea bag in it. So yeah, fun fact, that was kind of interesting. But because he was sick, he had a mask on. Um, I was like, oh, hey, you know, thanks, you know, for being considerate because you know you're sick for wearing a mask. And I got a picture with him. I'll put it up. Not the best picture. But again, I mean, I didn't really care. I met Alex. He was super sweet. So after that, I went to, like, the back with my friends while they I waited beside them while they got their picture and met him. 
and once they, he got to them because he would kind of just like go by who is around like he'd take a picture with this person and then like say whoever's next to him he'll do it with them so that's how he was kind of doing just like whoever's close to him so he took the pictures with them and I was next to them obviously just waiting with them because I already had my picture I was out of the way I was letting other people get their pictures talk to them they got their picture and he looked at me and he's like oh you know how how are you and I was like oh I'm good um can I get a hug because of course when I got my picture I totally flaked did not think to ask for a hug he was like yeah of course so I got my hug and then he went you know to the other fans but obviously when I met him I had his cup and I was kind of like trying to hide it. Cause you know how awkward it is to meet somebody and have them see you have the cup they were drinking out of. Like it was so sweet because literally everybody asked if they could have a picture. It wasn't just like a, here, take a picture with me. I don't know, I was slightly embarrassed and I was like trying to tuck it under my arm. He probably didn't notice it because there was so much like going on, like people around him. But yeah, it was, it was, Still kind of annoying and embarrassing hey can i get a picture or hey can i hug you like it was i liked how courteous everybody was and like i said he literally talked to every single person he came out around 11 ish um their call to leave was at midnight and from the time he got out there to he stayed until time like till midnight till they had like bus had to roll out and i can tell at the end towards the end of it he was kind of like ready to go because like he would be like okay yeah guys you know i gotta go bye but then like someone else would like start talking to him and that happened a couple of times he was sick and it was midnight and he was probably tired but he was so sweet and i cannot stress that enough he really made sure that everybody like when he would talk to you he like straight eye contact like un undivided attention i really wish one of the other boys would come out but i guess they snuck on while everyone was looking at alex they must have like went around but yeah i dm zach and asked him if he was gonna come out but he didn't reply because he follows me on instagram so i dm'd him but he didn't reply when i told him i tried to get a cute photo of him smiling because i got like one of half his face and he was like yeah those are hard to get but he didn't reply to me asking when he was gonna come out. But that's a whole nother story of him following me. But yeah, I know this isn't probably interesting to anybody. It was a very exciting thing for me. And I've been a fan since I was probably four, 13, 14 years old. So a good 10 years. It was amazing. And I can't believe I still met him. Super sweet. Uh, yeah, but I just thought, I just wanted to tell somebody that. But uh, yeah, so that's it. I know, this is a super boring video. But yeah, thanks for watching and bye.